I'm finally here in Glacier National Park. The last four days of more than a four month journey. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to say. I think these mountains are gonna speak for themselves. Real quick, let's get some detail on that glacier up there. Dang. Last full day on the CDT. And while that is very exciting, it got off to kind of a bumpy start. First thing this morning out of camp, uh, Javelin and I took a wrong turn and walked a mile in the wrong direction which is exactly what you don't want to do when you already have to do 34 miles that day with 8,000 feet of climbing because of the glacier permitting system. I'm just gonna have to show up to camp late. I'm not rushing. Just saw my first grizz. I'm just walking along the trail and I heard some breaking of branches maybe 20, 30 feet below the trail in front of me. And there it was. That got my heart pumping a little bit. That was kind of close to be to a grizzly bear. to say this is a pretty epic final sunset on the CDT. I'm quickly approaching the final campsite on the CDT. Getting a little bit emotional, but I could not have asked for a better last day on trail. It got off to a little bit of a rocky start, but the views were incredible. All day. Can't believe tomorrow's the last day. It's sad. It's actually. I mean, I'm happy that I did this, and I'm happy that I get to celebrate tomorrow. But 
I'm sad that it's over. So I just finished pretty much the last climb on the CDT. Now I can officially say it's all downhill to Canada. And that's good because I want to be a downhill hiker. Can't believe 14 miles and I'll be at the monument. Waterton Lake, getting close. I'm like a quarter mile. <laughs> So what do I have to say about the CDT? Well, I think I learned a lot. Um, some practical things like traveling in the snow safely and navigating and stuff, but also I think some more personal things. I think I, I grew a lot as an outdoors person and as just a person in general. On this trail, I faced some fears, fears about Grizzly, snow, navigation. But anyway, uh, just to sum up my feelings, I think that to do something that scares you or intimidates you and just find out what's on the other side, I think that's one of the best things you can do. And if something does scare you, you can be pretty sure that you're probably going to grow as an individual through the process of facing that fear, whatever it may be.